Hello and welcome to Romeo and Juliet, Section 2, Lesson 4, Section 2, Diagnostic Writing. Today you will use the text theme understanding tool and the film theme understanding tool to find evidence to support a claim in response to the following questions. What is a theme that is developed in Act 2, Scene 2 of Romeo and Juliet? How is that theme developed? How do the choices that the director makes in one of the film versions affect the development of this theme? And you will compose the section diagnostic response, focusing on the development of your claim using evidence from the text and the film version. For this lesson, you will need the film theme understanding tool, the organization reference guide found in today's lesson, your reading response journal found in today's lesson, Romeo and Juliet, the fully dramatized audio edition found in today's lesson, Romeo and Juliet section diagnostic draft found in today's section and the section diagnostic planning document found in today's section. You will also need your text theme understanding tool as well. Remember the text theme understanding tool was posted back in section one lesson three and the film theme understanding tool was posted back in section one lesson four. Before we dive into the section diagnostic, let's go over the culminating writing task prompt. What theme is developed in the last scene of Romeo and Juliet? Choose one film version of the play and discuss what choices the director made when creating a film version of this scene. How do these choices enhance or detract from the themes developed in the play? And if you noticed in our agenda uh, slide, it talks about theme of act two, scene two, and how that theme is portrayed in the play and in one of the film versions. Notice, it's almost the exact same thing, just a different scene that you're gonna be using for your culminating writing task. Here are the learning targets for this lesson. Can you explain how a theme is developed in Act 2, Scene 2 of Romeo and Juliet and compare and contrast how that theme is developed in a film adaptation of the play? And can you write a response that states a comparative claim and support that claim with evidence from the text? You are going to gather and organize evidence in preparation for composing your work. You will need to highlight evidence from your text theme understanding tool and your film theme understanding tool that you will use to support your claim from the previous activity. In the previous lesson. You will want to highlight as much evidence as you can, as you will use this evidence in your work. You will have 10 minutes to complete this activity. Now you're going to review the question and any claims you have formed and evidence you have gathered. And you're going to review the organization reference guide. So let's look at our prompt. What is a theme that is developed in Act 2, Scene 2 of Romeo and Juliet? How is that theme developed? How do the choices that the director makes in one of the film versions affect the development of this theme? You will have five minutes to review the organization reference guide and the information that you have gathered. Now you're going to write your thesis statement in your reading response journal. You want to make sure that your thesis statement first of all, addresses the questions that were asked. 
Second, that it states your response and presents your supporting claims and that it previews the organization of your work. I have included two sentence frames that you may use, choose to use as your thesis statement sentence frames. Let's look at the two options. Now you may choose one of these options or you may write your own. The theme of blank, and you're going to include the theme, is developed in Act 2, Scene 2 of Romeo and Juliet through blank. However, in the film version, you're going to put the name of the film there, this theme is blank. How is that theme different? Due to the director's choices in blank. What did the director choose to do differently? Or the theme of blank, and again, you're going to put the theme from the actual play, is developed in Act 2, Scene 2 of Romeo and Juliet through blank, and is also developed in the film version blank, name of the film, through the director's choices in blank. So the first one talks about how the themes are different and in the second version it talks about how they're the same. So you're going to have about five minutes to write your thesis statement in your reading response journal. Now, with your partner, you're going to read your thesis statement aloud and ask your partner the questions. Does the thesis statement cover and answer all parts of the prompt? Is this thesis statement punctuated correctly? And is this thesis statement organized in a way that will help me organize my response? You will need to make revisions to your thesis statement based on your partner's answers. And you'll have five minutes to complete this activity. Now, not only are you going to read yours and ask the questions, but you're also going to sw switch places and your partner will read theirs and ask the questions. And you need to make your revisions based on your partner's answers. Now you're going to write a topic sentence in your reading response journal for each of your body paragraphs to outline your work. Your topic sentence will need to introduce your supporting claim, identify how it relates to your response in the thesis statement, and use a tr transition word or phrase to introduce the topic sentence and or how it will ident identify how the topic sentence connects to other sentences. And then you will fill in the section diagnostic planning document. You will have 15 minutes to do both of these items. You're going to read the questions. And then in your learning log, your reading response journal, you will create a draft that answers the questions. What is a theme that is developed in Act 2, Scene 2 of Romeo and Juliet? How is that theme developed? How do the choices that the director makes in one of the film versions affect the development of this theme? Remember to look over the section diagnostic checklist. 
you will have 25 minutes to complete this activity. And actually you have a draft document that you're going to use. Now you're going to use your text theme understanding tool and your film theme understanding tool as you create, as you make sure that you, your response meets the expectations per the section diagnostic checklist and that your response addresses the prompt. You're going to have about five minutes to look over this document. You look over your document. Now you're going to share your draft with your partner. You're going to read your partner's response. Then you will determine if your partner has included sufficient evidence to support the thesis statement. As you read the draft, you need to be able to answer these questions. Is there a clear response in supporting claims that are specific, original, appropriate to the task, and based on evidence? Does the work address all parts of the task? How well is the focus developed? Are the explanations accurate and logical in connection to the thesis? You will have 10 minutes to complete this activity. Now I want you to suggest locations in the response where your partner could add more details to support the thesis statement. You will have five minutes to complete this activity. For homework, you will answer the questions in your reading response journal before reading Act 2, Scene 3. What are my purposes for reading? And what happened in the scene before this scene? So in other words, what happened in Act 2, Scene 2? Then you will listen to Act 2, Scene 3, following along with the printed copy of the text. After reading, You will answer in your reading response journal, what are some words that you would use to describe Friar Lawrence? Congratulations! You have completed Section 2, Lesson 4 of the Romeo and Juliet unit. In today's lesson, you explained how a theme is developed in Act 2, Scene 2 of Romeo and Juliet, and you compared and contrasted how that theme is developed in a film adaptation of the play. And you wrote a response that states a comparative claim and supported that claim with evidence from the text.